Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how you can remotely control a Pear Deck slideshow from another device. So the first thing we're going to want to do is launch our uh, Pear Deck slide here on our projection computer, right? So that's kind of how you would normally go through it. Uh, and in a previous video, we talked about a little window that pops up and said it would come back up later. This is that later. So. Okay, there's that little window. We're gonna get rid of this for now. So here is normally how it would work with your students and you would have them do joinpd.com and put in that code and everything's all well and good. Well, let's see if I can make this happen here. I'm gonna shrink this window down a little bit and I'm gonna bring up this other window here which is my Chromebook. Sorry about the, uh, the very messy and busy background working with some 3D pictures. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna go over to my Chromebook and uh, I've tested this on Chromebooks, I've tested this on iOS devices, I have not tested it on uh, Android tablets, nor have I tested it on like Fire tablets, Kindle Fire tablets, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. But uh, what I can do is on my other device, so my Chromebook, I'm gonna go to PearDeck.com and I'm gonna log in as a teacher and I'm gonna find this session, right? So I'm gonna say teacher login and then to find the session. Now, it may be smart enough to pick up that I have a session running. Let's see. Hmm. Nope. Oh, aha, look at that. Open session in progress. So I can say ignore open projector or open dashboard. Open projector is gonna open that screen over on the left-hand side. That's not what I want. But when I say open dashboard, you'll see my Chromebook changes to like the teacher dashboard appearance but it's live as I'm going through it. So I'm gonna say, got it, uh, and join code, good. I'm, you'll notice when I say close, my projection goes to the next slide. And when I click on the next slide, it transfers for my students. I go to a, uh, what do you call it, a interactive slide. And if you notice on my teacher side, right, I tried to label it teacher side, um, on the teacher side, it's waiting for responses. I can sort the responses. And what's really cool is when the little star comes up, if I star a response, when I say to show responses, only the starred responses show up, which is really, really cool. So you'll notice the teacher controls that we talked about in a previous video, they are seen at all times on this if I call it the like remote screen, right? The teacher side, I can show responses, I can turn them off, I can lock screens so it locks it for my students, I can add a new question, I can go forward, everything is there. So I'm picturing that you could like have a Chromebook, especially if it was a fold flat Chromebook, and this is just, you know, in your hand and you're running things from there and you can see what's happening with students. Again, you can star their responses so that when you say show responses, only the starred ones show up, it lets you really focus on some kids that need a, a pick me up. And again, on this side with the, because this is a paid feature, the names show up on my teacher side, but not the projection side. So really, really awesome tool. But there you go. That is the uh, teacher dashboard remote control, I guess we'll call it, for Pear Deck presentations. If you have questions on this or anything else EdTech related, please feel free to email me at rbray at btboces.org. You're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.